Tristan with that one channel. I am back out here in the tunnel forest again in sunny Arizona. It's like 73 degrees in like one week from Thanksgiving, which is pretty crazy. Um, that's my Boxster. I am Tristan. I am out here to search for some cars down here in this canyon behind me. There's lots of cars. In fact, there's even cars in front of me way down in that canyon as well. There's like a Volkswagen bus and a bunch of other things. I'm out here. Let's get back that way and see what we can find. So where we are going is down here. This is Mile Post 218 past Tortilla Flats on EZD, and we are heading down there. Okay guys, we made it halfway down. Here is about halfway down the canyon and there's the Ford truck, the 90s Ford truck. It's a 70s um, Chevrolet, a 50 Buick Special. There's a 1920s car, and then there's a 1948 International Harvester as well. Okay, here's vehicle number one. This is a 90s Ford truck. Now, what I'm told is the passenger in this vehicle, the female, did die in this crash. And that the reason why they left it here rather than pulling it out is because it got stuck up here against this rock right here and they just couldn't get it up over the ledge so they decided to come down here and drain the fluids and then leave it as it is and ADOT will sign off on it and let you know if it's possible but it's very sad to think that someone deceased in this but um, I heard it was an older couple from Apache Junction It's just crazy, the roof on that. And you're wondering why there's X's. X's tell the helicopters and such that this is a known vehicle if they're searching for a party of people that are possibly missing. I'm really surprised the transmission is still here. Because those... I do know are valuable in these trucks, but you know, let's get out the run. Wow. There's the canister. What's funny is that looks like a coffee pot. That look like coffee. <laughs> God, can you imagine me down here? Like waiting for someone. There was a guy several years ago that did crash off here in the Nissan Sentra, and he did wait down here for several days, and he couldn't get any help. And he thought someone was going to come rescue him. What he didn't realize was no one knew he was down here, and he hiked out of here, and then walked all the way back to Tortilla Flats, which is four miles, and then someone found him. So, yeah. I just think this will literally be here for an eternity. Let's see what else we can find. That's been moved. The Buick, that was not in that position. Looks like people have tried to get under those and move them. Let's see what else we can find. I know there's Corvette parts down here as well. Anyone need an ECU? Allison Transmission. So that's obviously to a pickup truck. Because I think Allison's were to a, that. So that vehicle right there, I was here for that crash. That was a Mustang that came here. There's the intake filter for it. There's the car battery for it. I was actually here. He landed right here in that Mustang. And there is the rear bumper to it. There's like all sorts of stuff. It's really interesting. A lot of this stuff's been cleaned up. Look what I found. A Nissan 350Z wheel. Next to a Nissan 350Z. Better from one of those kids that races out here on the weekends and doesn't know how to drive. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, there's the mirror to the Corvette. So that was a mirror to that Corvette, I remember. Wow, this has all been damaged. 
that Chevy was pushed all the way up against that curb wall, curb wall, same thing. Wow, a lot of this. There must have been some gushing water in here. Look at that engine. Holy smokes. So that means that must be aluminum. That's metal. That is so cool. I think this house pipe's still there. And then here's the, the cab. And there's some more of those X's to let you know that they are aware that this vehicle is down here. That's crazy about the Chevy. Ooh, that water must have been raging. Like that thing's been sitting there for like 40 years in this at same spot from what the cop told me. There's the trunk. So in 2008, that trunk right there was on a Lincoln, and that lady died in the crash as well. So this is crazy. Wow. Last time I was here, this vehicle was way over here. It looks like someone has definitely tried to get the stuff off. The gauges in this thing are just gorgeous in this Buick. They are just so beautiful. I feel like I'm disrespectful for doing this, but... Oh, they're still there. Oh, that was so cool. The other one still has the glass in it. This is so cool. I don't mean any disrespect by walking on this. Wow, this thing. Yeah, see the front bumper is so cool. I know somebody tried to get that off recently. Oh, someone got the chrome piece. There was a huge piece across the engine that was chrome as well. I mean, I'm sure you guys want to see the engine. It is so, I mean, it's all there. Yeah, they've tried to get that chrome piece out. It's people have been trying to do that for a long time. So there's a 1920s car over here as well. I'm hoping that didn't get washed away because that area, if this got washed over, I can only imagine the other vehicle. Here we are. So I was able to figure out in the past that this is a Buick Special. A 1950 Buick Special. And the way I was able to tell was by the trim around the backside right here is how I was able to tell. I need to get down in here. It's all right, my body is old. It's very hard for me to bend down like that. I mean, look at the door panel. It still has all the original chrome on it. That is cool. Buick Grill, which they were known for. Well, it's really sad. This storm has really messed up this car. Can someone maybe, maybe tell me what kind of car this is? I swear it has a rumbled seat. Like, this is a rumble seat because it goes backwards. Yeah, this thing is Rash from all that rain and storm we had. Wow. I mean, I can't really tell you. I can tell you this is black. 
at one time. Cool little cross member. Gold filter. There you go. That looks like a part of the car right there as well. Maybe we'll see. Oh my god, these flies are getting really bad. This is that wheel that came off that Mustang. This is that 1948 International Harvester panel van. This is the last of the stuff. This thing's been down here for a long time, I know that. Um, I think it may, yeah. It's pretty cool, so you can see where the top of the windshield would have been there, to the back, and then to the back window. And the seats, that's so cool. That is so cool. I apologize you're looking at this upside down. But it's so cool. Look at those knobs. Like the knob on the top. It looks like that the front windshield would have possibly opened forward. Then there's those cool little knobs in the middle. It's kind of interesting. I wish the key was still in it. But I'm sure someone took that a long time ago. But this is cool. Well, there's the front end. See, that's how I was able to justify it by the grill slats as well as the hole in the bottom and the headlight now that part back there I cannot figure out which part of the vehicle that is from right there I think that might be from the back of the vehicle you can even see where the oil came out from the the crank in the bottom and there's you, it's as cool as you can see inside the transmission get a general idea of Just how mass this area is of vehicles. Try to get a little closer, but this brush is so thick. We did almost thought that that was another vehicle there, but it matches the international. So we were like, nah. Okay, well, I need to make myself out of here. So I just have to go way up there. Anyways, I will let you know when I get to the car. Hey guys, I made another canyon, which was that way. Anyways, I appreciate you guys if you made it this far. And I can't thank you enough. Um, if you like what you see, please let me know in the comments so I know what's good, what I'm doing, what I'm not. A lot of my videos are not getting views. I don't know what's going on with the algorithm on YouTube, but I'm hoping it gets fixed. Anyways, enough complaining. I hope you like what you see. 50 Buick Special, 70 Chevrolet pickup truck, Mustang parts, Z parts, and a 48 International. Hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for everything. Bye.